Hello, class. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How good are evening. you? I'm good fine, evening, teacher. teacher. Good, good. All right. Welcome, guys, to today's class. Good to see everybody. How is everybody? Pretty good? Very good, teacher. Very good, teacher. Okay, good, good. Um, okay. Just give me a moment. All right, guys. Well, welcome to um, today's class. I'm glad to see Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Marvin. How are you? I'm uh, fine, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, guys. Um, well, um, to begin with, we're going to start by taking the attendance. Um, Let's see, just give me one second. Okay, I got it. All right, Ana Claudia, I think will not be here today. So yeah, I don't see her connected. Um, Andres Giovanni. Yes, teacher. Edgar. Edgar. No? Okay. Uh, Janet. Present. Wonderful. Present teacher. Welcome, um, Janet. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Elga. Okay, wonderful, Elga. We thought we you weren't connected. Now, now I can see you. Excellent. Okay. Um, do I have Fabiola? Is Fabiola here? No. No, no, Fabiola. No, Fabiola. Okay, um, do I have Francisco Javier? Francisco Javier? No. Okay. Katie. Hey. 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 Uh, um, one second. Good evening. Okay, there we go. Okay, wonderful. Um, is Irene? Is it any here? No? No? Okay. Uh, Josue. Is Josue here? Teacher. Okay, yeah. welcome, Josue. Juan Francisco. Is Juan Francisco here? Yes, I'm teacher. All right, welcome. Carla. Is Carla here? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Um, is Melissa here? Oh, I think. Melissa? Uh, Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. All right, welcome. Manuel Alejandro? Present teacher. All right, welcome. Manuel de Jesus? Manuel de Jesus? No. Okay, um, Marvin? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, is Wendy here? Present teacher. All right. Is Warner here? Warner? Warner, Warner, Warner? No, not here. No, I don't see him. Uh, Noemi? Okay, welcome. All right. Um, 
Yvonne? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Daniel? Present teacher. All right, welcome. Uh, Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto, no, right? Marlene? Marlene, no? Okay. And Ricardo? Ricardo? No, okay. All right. Okay, guys. Um, first of all, I really, I want to thank you guys because um, some of you have, uh, have um you know talk to me you you've sent me a message and let me know that some of you are having uh a little bit of difficulties um connecting um today and uh, but still you have made the effort to be connected and i really really well i really appreciate your um i, I really appreciate your um your responsibility, right? You're in the fact that you, even though you know you're having trouble, but you're still connected, and I really like that shows your commitment. So thank you very much for those people that are doing the extra effort to be able to be with us today. Okay, um, just making sure that I I got everybody. I'm just gonna repeat the people that I didn't hear um, to answer. Ana Claudia, Lola. Present teacher. Ah, okay, one. All right, Francisco Javier. Um, Irene. Melissa. Manuel de Jesus. Warner. Noemi, ah oh no, Noemi. Uh, Jorge. Marlene and Ricardo. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Wonderful. Irene, Irene. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I see. All right. Thank you guys. All right. So thank you guys for um, being here on time. Uh, acuérdense, como les decía anteriormente, es, son las últimas clases que vamos a tener en este módulo y es de suma importancia verdad que estemos conectados para que podamos llegar ahí a, a, a la meta verdad que es por lo menos un 80% de asistencia para poder cumplir con ese eh, ese pase verdad para verdad eso de, de, los, de los requisitos para poder continuar con el próximo nivel ok guys well um, let's begin first of all uh, with the first part of our class, which is a review of what we saw yesterday. Okay, so please tell me if you can, if you are able to see this or not. Oops, sorry. Nope. That's not it, sorry. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right. Um, all right, you guys are able to see this? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right, so we're looking at this is the beginner module five, unit four. Uh, we continue talking about company procedures and policies. Okay. And today is Thursday, May 6, 2021, and it's day number 18. Um, and of course, the facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, hold on. Let's take a look over here. I don't know what happened. Ooh, que pasó acá. Just give me a moment. I don't know que pasó. Just a second, guys. Huh, that's weird. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh, that's weird. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. 
Okay, hopefully it works. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's for. Huh? That's so weird. Entiendo. Anyways, okay, so anyways. Um, so we're going to be working in pairs. Go to your breakout room. Choose one of the situations in exercise four on page 39. Okay, so um, you will remember. Um, sorry, guys, not 39. Ooh. Sorry, I mean, just give me a second. No, sorry, it's not 39, it's 42. Sorry, guys, 42. All right, so create a conversation. Student A has a situation has a situation and student B provides the possible possibilities. Change roles. Present the conversation in front of the class. So in other words, remember that on page 42, we have four situations. The first situation is you don't have a car, right? The second situation is someone of your family is sick. The third situation is you need to request a legal document. And the fourth situation is you feel tired or sick. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to, change, you're going to choose one of those situations. Student A is going to be the one that has the situation or the problem. Student B um, provides the possibilities, get like, in other words, gives um, like advice, like showing the different possibilities. And then you're going to switch. When you switch, student A can choose another situation. It doesn't have to be the same situation. So maybe if student, if student in the first time, student A um, talked about someone of your family being sick, the next time uh, in the other situation, student A, student B can talk about feeling tired, for example. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Um, all right, so what we're going to do right now is um, just give me a second. Okay, um, we're going to divide the class right now in, into the breakout rooms. Let me just make sure I know who is I have here with me. So Warner's not here. Um, so that means I have, let's see. Second. I'm going to give you um, if I think that probably about mm, I would say about 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 or 20 minutes, 20, sorry, 12 minutes. I will give you 12 minutes to do the conversation. Remember. The first time you're going to be talking to your partner, you're going to have the problem. In the second one, you're going to switch and your partner is going to have the problem. Okay? And just try. Now, I don't want you to be writing anything. Okay? I don't want you to be writing things because that's, that's, that's going to take you too long. And the purpose of this is to practice your speaking, your fluency, your pronunciation. Okay, so if you are writing everything, you're not going to be practicing fluency. You're going to be practicing reading, which, you know, doesn't really make sense. So I want you to practice speaking. Okay, and of course, we're going to be using what we learned yesterday, with, uh, which is for possibilities. What word do we use for possibilities? Good. Good, exactly. So we're going to be using could. All right. Sounds good? 
Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, so let me open all the rooms. Go ahead and join. Manuel, ¿qué pasó? No me, no me sale a otra. De veras, porque se supone que... Estaba, o sea, me salió el, 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 el link, pero de repente me sacó. Qué raro. Ok. Um... Tengo el chance y quiero ver qué puedo hacer. Estoy viendo que hay algún... Ok, lo voy a poner entonces con otro grupo. Vamos a ver si, si le sale. Pues sí. Estaba en el taller. Eh. Entonces, um, solo estoy buscando página 42. Ajá, sí, son los ejercicios que hicimos al final ayer. Hi, teacher. ¿Tienes preguntas? La conversación, maybe. Um, puede ser de cualquier contexto. The conversation Utiliz can be any of the situations from page 42. Ah, uh, okay. Any of the, con of the situations. Ah, okay, okay. Okay? Okay. All right, good. Okay. Entonces, empecemos eh, Hello, Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Uh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I think Carla is uh, driving. Yeah, um, yeah. She's. Um, she told me that... Um, Hola, hello. Okay. Hey, she's just back. Give okay. me, just give me 10 minutes, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, Thank all right. You know what I'm going to do then? Um, Yvonne, I'm going to send you to another group. Sounds good? Okay. So you can work with. Someone. No problem. Let me just give me a okay. moment. Okay. Um, I think. Um, I'm going to send you with Manuel, this is because I think Noemi 
also has having problems and he can't work with her. So I'm gonna send you to with to work with Manuel, okay? And I will join you in the group in a moment. Okay. Uh, Manuel, me escucha. Sí. Okay, perfecto. But mire, le voy a le voy a voy a traer um, Voy a traer um, a, a, voy a traer a, ¿cómo se llama? A Ivonne para que trabaje con usted. ¿Ok? Ok. Vamos a traerla ahorita. Ok, Ivonne, ahí está, Manuel. So you guys can work together. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Aquí viene la teacher. Teacher. Hi, guys. What happened? Hello. Hi. We need help. Okay. No entendimos del todo bien el tema de la conversación. Huh. Tenemos que hacer una conversación, ¿verdad? De entre dos personas. Usando el, por ejemplo, el uno, you don't have a car. Pero es una conversación, no es solo leer right. las, 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 los sentences que hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? En inglés, en inglés. Ok. We have to make a conversation using the, for example, the number one, you don't have a car. Mm -hmm. It's not only read the uh, sentences that we make yesterday no right. no you're, you're it's a conversation it's a conversation so okay. for example irene comes and tells you you know what i'm you know well, at least i am so worried because right now um you know my car broke down and i don't have a car anymore and um my uh, job is very okay. far away and so you come okay. and say, oh, I'm sorry, I read to hear that. But you know, there, you know, there are some things you can do. For example, you could, um, you know, get up a little bit earlier and go by bus, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. 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 So you're going to switch. Yes. Okay. Teacher, when, Marvin. when we, sorry, Marvin, let's go. Uh, no read. No, just speaking. Okay. No, no right. No, no right. No writing. Exactly. We have no to writing, just speaking. Okay. 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 Uh, yes. We have to send send you something like no. yesterday, or no. just no. talk here. Just talk. Oh. Okay. There's okay. only about three more minutes left, so use okay. your time. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Okay. Go for Thank it. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay, Marvin, you was right with your your sentences. Can you yeah. restart uh, again? Hi, Manuel. Hi, teacher. Hi, what happened? <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, Jose. Pues, quizás tuvo un problema con el internet porque se tocó la pantalla y fue un par de minutos así como congelada y creo que se salió, creo que... Ah, ok, pero aquí viene, aquí viene, no se preocupe. Ah, ok. <risa> no worries. Uh... Hello, Hello, Josue, welcome back. I have a problem with the connection. <laughs> it's okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, continue, go ahead and, and continue with the conversation. Okay, Manuel, we okay. have the morning meeting. Uh, okay. Meeting, do you, do you prefer? Hello, Carla. 
Carla, are you there? Yeah, teacher, but I'm in my, I'm home right now. If you want, can you help me in another, uh, uh -huh. hello? Yeah, I'm I, here. I can hear you, teacher. You Why? <laughs> me escucha. Do, do you see me in, in, in the, in your screen? No. Can you hear me right now? Yeah. Yes, you can hear me? Yeah, I okay. can hear you. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I can I can see that you're connected, but I was actually wondering because I, I see you have like two, are, are you in two different devices? Uh, yes, in this moment, yes, but I will just in, in the, in another, Mm. Okay, Let's... hold on, wait, but I'm also in that Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, I see you. Okay, wonderful. I leave the the. Just give me a minute, please. Okay. I leave this meeting. Oh, I see. Okay, so now it's just one device, right? Yeah. Okay. Just okay. one. Sorry. Right. I, okay. I really want to thank you. Oh, yeah. No, I'm no, home. No. I'm home. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. I'm glad. Um, so there was a lot of traffic. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of traffic. Wow, and normally, um, you know, that happens on Friday, and today is Thursday, so I, I'm ho I'm hoping that tomorrow is not going to be, you know, worse. You know what? I live in Soyapango, so the uh, Carretera Panamericana and Boulevard del Ejército is the same history all the time. <laughs> Every day, every hour. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, going to Soyapango, that's wow. I yeah. admire people that do that every day because <laughs> I can't do that. Oh yeah. I just, I... Oh, that's 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 yeah. But um, but I do appreciate your responsibility for connecting. You know that 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 says a lot. So thank you very much. Um. Okay. Thank so, you. So yeah, yeah. No, anything we can help you with. We're, we're here. Um, we're, I'm going to right now, uh, we're going to go to the main session. Okay. Um, if you want, well, I'll, I'll, I'll move you into the main session. I'm going to go there too. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so let's invite everybody back. Okay. All right, guys. So you ha all had an opportunity of, um, of practicing the conversation? Later, teacher. Mm. Yes. No, teacher. No? no. What happened? No. What happened? Uh, because of time. <laughs> what? Yeah. The, the time is, is, is short. Really? Because my because my partner changed my partner. <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay, okay. Because I gave you guys 15 minutes. But yeah. um do you want a little bit more time? Please, teacher. 
Okay, please. five more minutes? Yes, it's okay. Okay, yeah. but I'll give you guys five more minutes. Um, okay, I'm going to, but I'm just going to do something. Um, voy a, quiero ver, voy a cambiar. Oh, Noemi, ya, 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 ya está lista. Ok, perfecto. Ok, vaya. Um, ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más está teniendo problemas? Carla, creo. Sí, pero Carla ya, ya también ya está de vuelta. Eh, Wendy, ¿estás ahí? Sí, teacher. Ok, okay good, good. ¿Any problems, Wendy? No. Okay. No, no. Awesome. Only my, my partner changed. Okay. I need my more time. Okay, sure. Um, so let me see. I'm just trying to find where I can place. I quiero ver. Bye. Uno de los grupos que tenía. Bye. Eh, Manuel, so, uh, Noemi, Yvonne. ¿Tuvieron suficiente tiempo? ¿Ya casi están listos o, o, o no mucho? Un par de minutitos más, teacher. Ok, no, pero, pero ya casi o... o, o ah, ya casi. No, ya casi, solo... Ya casi, nosotros también igual ya estamos. ¿Y, y Irene, Luis y Marvin? ¿Ya casi? No, we need more time, no. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer una cosa. Les voy a, voy a quitarles un miembro y lo voy a pasar a otro grupo para que también tengan más tiempo solo entre dos en vez de tres. Es, va a ser más fácil. Ok. Um, so move. Ok. All right. So I'm opening up the rooms. Five more minutes. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Irene? Okay. Are you going to your car? Or are you going to car? Oh, sorry, no. I think are to you go. going to go your car. Uh, your... Are you going to go your car? Guys, I, I, I don't want you to write. I want you to speak. Okay, so don't worry about writing. Worry about speaking. Okay? Okay, okay teacher. <laughs> Uh, uh, good morning. Uh, hello, Francisco. Uh, hello, Janet. I need to do a legal procedure. Uh, how do you uh, need a layer? No, no, I don't. I want to process the driver license. Oh, I understand. Uh, you call go to the Shetland's per classing office? Right. Uh, can you need a taxi or are you going to go uh, your car? Thanks. I go to the, I go to my car. Oh, yes. Um, 
see. Uh, Janet, I have a question for you. Can you tell me in um can you tell me in English how do you say procedimiento in English? Procedure. No. Close, close. Procedure. Ah, procedure. Procedure. Mm -hmm. procedure. Yeah. And um, ¿Cómo se dice licencia? License? No. It's license. 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 Mm -hmm. License. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Continue. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I go right. to my car um, bye. Okay, bye 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 okay hi edgar how are you uh fine fine things with uh with uh with only a a little problem what's wrong edgar could i do something to help you uh, my car does uh, turn off. I need to go to my office. Could I give you a ride? I'm going to Santa Tecla area. Thanks. Thanks back. I... Bye. Bye. You can go to the beach. Hello, Andres. That will be nice. Hello. I think we have an internet connection problems. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's raining here, teacher. I think that's the, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Mm -hmm. Any problems? Question? Uh, we maybe I, we can do the conversation for sure. Mm -hmm. So you could have a vacation this weekend. You can go to the beach. That that would be nice. I I will go to the beach two days to have a relax and and have a better uh, and have a good week. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. No sé qué responderle. No sé, como la despedida, algo de despedida, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, take care, Andrés. Thanks, Fabio. Take care and have a, a nice weekend. Yeah. Oh, take care. I hope um, I feel better. Oh. Take care. I feel feel or feeling. Feel or the teacher. Feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the teacher. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Or do you need more time? I <laughs> think we're ready. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe. Okay. I think that we can remind the conversation because we didn't write just speaking. Good. 
No, that, that, that's, that's good. That's how I, I wanted you to do it. I didn't want you to do writing and, and you know. No, I wanted to do it like you normally do a conversation. Okay. In real life, conversations, you don't, um, you know, in, in real life, you don't, the conversations, you don't write them down. You just say them, right? So um, that's what I wanted you to do. So that's okay. That's okay. okay. I try to be sure in my case. <laughs> Good. That, that's what's important. What's important is to try. Right? Okay. Um, yeah, so that's good. Okay, I will see you guys in the main room. Okay? Okay, good. All right. So I, I think I'm, I'm guessing that you guys are, are finished. You had enough time now? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, good. Um, what I was trying to, I, I was asking you guys to do was to um, not write the conversation, but just speak it. Because in real life, that's what we do. Um, we do not go and write a conversation and that's practice it now, right? In real life, you just simply say something and the other person reacts, right? You either react with a comment or you react with a question, right? But, and, and then it goes back and forth, right? That's how mm -hmm. real life works, right? So that's what I wanted you guys to do, to have that opportunity um, to practice, you know, like in, we would normally do in real life, okay? All right, so we're going to now continue. Um, now that we've done that, um, I'm going to share my PowerPoint. Please let me know if you can see it. Everybody can see it? No? Yes. 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 Good. All right. So let's look at um, our new conversation for today's class. This conversation, for this one, we're going to start with two questions. Uh, first question is, where do you usually request a permission? So yesterday we talked a little bit about permissions. We asked about what were the procedures, you know, how often do you ask for permission? But now let me ask you, where do you usually request a permission? Do you do it like with human resources? Do you do it with your boss? Um, uh, do you do it online? Where do you usually request the permission? Usually, I ask for permission to my boss. Okay, all right. So, and how did you go to your boss's office? Do you write them an email? What What do you do? I usually just I just call him. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just over the phone. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. What about the rest of you? How do you, where do you usually go to, um, to request a permission? Me too, I use the cell phone and call my boss. Okay, just calling your boss, that's it. That's all you need to call them. Okay, all right, what else? Uh, what about the rest of uh -huh. I have to fill a form. Okay. Every time that I need a permission, I have to fill it. Okay, and where do you go to get that form? Your immediate boss? Immediate boss, uh -huh. Okay. All right. So you have to go to their office. Yes, oh. I have to to give the, the form. Uh-huh. And to have the, the approval. Approval. 
the approval for my boss and mm -hmm. after that I can I can take the permission. Okay, sounds good. What about the rest of you? What do you guys where do you go? Josue, where do you go to ask for request of permission? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> no, I just called my to my boss. You just call the boss. Yes, it's very simple. Okay. So you don't you don't even go to your boss's office. You just call mm -hmm. them up. No, because I have a uh, rotative schedule. Um, sometimes I work at night. My boss is in his house. It's off. Yeah, I got you. Okay. And, and it's rotating, rotating schedule. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, what about Edgar? Where do you usually go to request the permission? Um, in, in, in my, my boss is, a um, call, um, uh, usually request, re request, uh, permission is, uh, a call. Okay. So you, you just call them up. You don't go to their office either. No. Okay. All right. Okay, next question I have is, oh, sorry. who is the last person who signs them? So if who is the last person that signs the, the permission form? Who signs the permission form? My boss teacher in my case. You're okay, your boss? Who signs the permission form? In my case, human resources. Human resources, okay. Okay. Teacher, in, in my case, we, uh, at the company, we have a platform. And, and just one, one, when I need a permission, send the virtual form, and my boss just approve. That's okay, they don't that's sign that's anything. No. Okay. There is no right. paper. Just, just send a form and, and he uh, uh, approves and just do that. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Good. Because today we're going to be actually talking about these two people that are going to be precisely requesting a permission. Her name is Ashley, and his name is Ray. So here's the conversation between Ashley and Ray. So um, I'm going to be saying the conversation, and you guys can um, go ahead and repeat after me, okay? So here we go. Um, good afternoon, Ashley. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Ashley. Ashley. Good afternoon, Ashley. And welcome to our company. And welcome, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our company. company. Thank you, Mr. Hang. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Hang. Hang. Do you use, sorry, do you know the procedures? Do you do know, know, know the procedures? procedures? Procedures. 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 And rules of our company? And rules, rules of, of, our our company. Company. of our company. Our company. No, not yet, sir. No, no. Oh, not, not yet, sir. Yet, sir. sir. Okay. 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 Where do you want to start? What about how to request the permission? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. I will explain them to you. 
them to you. First. 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 Good. All right, questions about the vocabulary, sorry, about uh, pronunciation. Um, procedures. 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 That's right. So this is not procedures, not procedures. It's proceed. Proceed. Okay, no, not proceed. 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 No, it's proceed. 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 Okay. Proceed. And then they should do procedures. The stress. The the stress is on the on the second syllable, and it's and it's a long e, so it's procedures. It's a long e. Procedures. Procedures. Good. What else? Procedures. What else? Tell me. Request. Okay, yes. And you did it correctly. It's request. 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 Okay. And remember last time I told you guys about two words that, um, sorry, uh, sorry. Let me start again. Remember I told you last time about words that can be uh, pronounced differently depending if they are a verb or a noun? Mm -hmm. Remember we talked a little bit about that? Like for example, the word uh, record is um, the verb and the word record is the noun, right? Well, request is the same thing. Okay, with the word request, the same thing happens. Um, it's a little bit bigger, there we go. Um, and, okay, so when we have the word, um, well, if we have the word, this word here as a verb, a second. So if the request is a verb, then um, the stress is going to be on the second syllable. So request. Okay. Request. And if the word request is not a, 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 a verb, but it's a noun, then it's going to be, the stress is going to, oh, sorry. <coughs> fix that. And the stress is going to be on, this, on the first level. A request. A request. Okay? So this is request is solicitar. And request is, sorry, a request is una solicitud. Okay? Got it? Okay. Any other words that you're not sure about? Teacher, what uh, what the difference in the pronouns? Pronunciation. The difference in the pronunciation is the stress. So if it's the verb is sorry, so if this word is a verb, then the stress is going to be on the second syllable. So you're going to say request. Stress is not as request. Okay. If it's on if it's a noun, you're going to say request. A request. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Okay. Uh, request. Uh, request is a verb. And this is a. Esa es una solicitud, ¿no? 
Pero Rick was. Okay, but this is a verb which means solicitar. And you say request. Request. Okay. Um, okay. And if it's a noun, it's going to be a, a request. A request. Una solicitud. Una solicitud, exactly. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, let's move on. Uh, any other words that you don't understand or you want to, as the trader said, any words you, you don't, un, you don't understand the pronunciation? Is permission? Uh, yeah, permission. Remember, okay. do you remember that yes, I think it was yesterday I talked about words that finish in shun, right? So like education, mission, vision, um, uh, well, there was a, a bunch of them. So whenever you have verbs, uh, sorry, words that finish in the, sun, the sound shun, what we do is this we put the stress in the second to last syllable so in this case shun is the last syllable the second to last is mish so it should be permission permission thank you yeah does that make yeah. sense Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. All right. What about vocabulary words that you don't understand? Like the vocabulary, just the meaning. Anything that you don't understand the meaning? All right, I think it's quite straightforward. Okay. Um, all right, in that case, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to get you guys to work in pairs, practice this conversation, but not only practice this conversation, I want you to discuss these questions with your partner who is ashley who is a person in charge this is a person sorry hold on so who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company okay so uh discuss those questions and practice this conversation I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to get you guys, I'm going to recreate the the breakout rooms. Okay, let me see. Um, Give me one second, guys. Let me try this. Um. Hello, Warner. Um, are you on two devices? No, only Just one. one. Okay. 
Ok. Um, va. Eh, just a second, please. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get um, open up the rooms. Um, five minutes. I think. I think in five minutes you should be able to do it. Okay. So go ahead and join groups. Uh, you guys have any problems? Irene? Irene, any problems? Hello. Irene. Están practicando ustedes ya. A practicar yes. ajá, en la conversación. Conversación. Um, okay. Let's, uh, cambiamos entonces. Switch. Uh, uh, switch. Uh, yeah. Irene and Soila. Okay. Okay. Irene. Uh, Mr. Ray, good afternoon. Okay, okay. okay. Hey, good afternoon. Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? I have a little problem with the connection. Can you repeat? Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. Where do you want, want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain the, the, them to you first. Cambiamos. Ok. Pero me voy a hacer más grande este volado porque casi no lo miro. Ah, es que no me he puesto los lentes. Qué oso. Pero... Mírate, mi mamá. Ya, ya decía que la miraba diferente, pero no entendía. Sí. ¿Por qué? 
<risa> Aparte es que me, ahorita me he visto without, ¿Cómo? without makeup. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Ah, bueno. <risa> Ey, ¿Por qué no me prestaste sí. el tuyo? Ya voy, ya no voy a darle la No, pero ahora sí, ya. ya Hoy sí, ya. Me parece usted. <risa> Ay, no, qué momento. <risa> ya, ya, que ya les exhibí mi cara eres. lavada. <risa> no, no, no es eso, sino que. Sí, es que la miraba diferente, pero no podía entender qué era. Algo le falta, dice usted. <risa> <risa> Algo diferente. Algo diferente, cabal. <ríe> ok. Eh, just practice, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah. And, okay. and answer the questions. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Eh, I'm Mr. Wright in this moment. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Switch. And... I am the first. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Uh, do you know the... Procedures. Um, procedures and roles of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a uh, permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the production? Uh, Procedures. Proced sorry. <laughs> Procedures and roles of our company. No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? So good. I will explain them to you first. Okay. Okay, that's great. Daniel, ¿qué tal? How do you feel right now? Uh, so so, teacher. So so. Okay. Well, I appreciate um, you connecting, even even though the circumstances are not the best, right? But I really do appreciate that. Okay. So just Thank just. Hacemos el esfuerzo. <laughs> sí, sí, cabal, le agradezco. Solo falta unos cuantos minutos más. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. Okay. All right. Yeah. Solo estoy luchando literalmente con el sueño por las inyecciones. Porque uh -huh. como son calmantes, o sea, son relajantes. Relajantes musculares. Sí, entonces, así como de, no, no te duermas. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, just hanging on a little, a little bit longer. Ya casi. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yes, teacher. Thank okay. you. All right. Um, hi, Irene. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó, Irene? La sacó. Sí, entonces me conectado al celular para ver si tengo una mejor señal. Oh. Este, ah. Tengo problemas con la señal, entonces me estoy conectando al celular. Tal vez así me, me permite, porque de la computadora no escucho nada y se me traba todo. Oh, ok, ok, no hay problema. Ok, sí, está bien, con solo que que pueda escucharnos bien y, y, y nos puedas ver bien en, 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 en el celular. That's fine. No problem. Okay. okay. All right. I'm closing all the rooms right now so we can. Okay. I'm going to get everybody back.
Okay, guys, so I think I've given you enough time to practice and, um, and check your, and uh, discuss the questions. Just um, before, before we, we go over the answer to the questions, let me take attendance one more time. Okay. So, all right, so we'll... Okay, so um, okay, so again, here we go. So Anna Claudia, no, right? Okay, uh, Andre Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, Edgar. Present teacher. Excellent, Janet. Present teacher. Excellent, Fabiola. Present teacher. Okay, great. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. No. I think he's. I think something happened to their account. Okay. Uh, Haiti. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Irene. Present teacher. Okay, um, Irene, eh, hagamos una de dos cosas. Uh, no sé cuál le funciona mejor con el audio. Si quieres, ajá, mejor, va, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí, ok, perfect, all right. Ok, um, Josué. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Carla Marta. Present teacher. All right. Melissa. Melissa. No. Okay. Uh, Luis. No, I don't. Luis. Present teacher. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Excellent. Um, Marvin. Still here, teacher. All right. Wendy. Present teacher. All right. Werner. Present teacher. Noemi. Present, teacher. All right. Yvonne. Present. All right. Daniel. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you. Jorge. Jorge? No. Marlene. Ricardo. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. All right, so let's check the answers that you guys um, discussed. Okay, so here was the conversation and I asked you to discuss these questions. So first, first of all, who is Ashley? Ashley is a new employee. Employee. Very he good. Is a new employee. Very good, a new employee, okay. Um, the stress is a employee. 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 Employees. Employee. Employee. All right. Next. Who is the person in charge of introducing new employees to the company? All right. Mr. Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And what is uh, Mr. Ray's uh, Human resource, I think. Yeah, he's, he's probably from human resource, that's right. And what is Ms. And what is Ray's last name? Hank. Hank. 
Hank. That's right. So it's Ray Hank. Okay. Teacher. What? Uh, I I think uh, Luis looks like Mr. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's true. Oh my goodness. Um, well, you know, <laughs> I kind of agree. <laughs> what do you think, Luis? Luis, are, are right. you? <laughs> your, your last name is, 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 is Hank. ¿Cómo se llama por para la foto? <laughs> Luis Ernesto Hank. <laughs> yeah, that's copyright it. teacher, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, that's uh, that's a very interesting observation. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, well, good. Um, actually, I wanted to mention something. This name Ray, do you know? Do you know what it stands for? What is Ray is short for a for a complete name. Do you know what is the complete name of Ray? Raymond. 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 That's right. And how do you say Raymond in Spanish? Ramon. 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 Exactly. <laughs> so Ray is actually Ramon. So I guess it would be Luis Ramon. <laughs> Don Ramon. <laughs> Don Ramon, but. <laughs> Le cambiamos el nombre. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, guys, continuing on with the next part. Um, we're looking at requesting permissions. So it says here, read the procedures to request permission at the DAC company. Okay, or the DAC. You could say DAC as well. Whenever you see um, the acronyms like this, it's possible to say a DAC, right? Okay, so this is the DAC company. All right, so I'm going to ask I'm going to ask different people to help me read. Okay, we are going. Uh, I think that's probably easier if I go alphabetical order. Okay, um, okay so we'll start with. Andres, Andres, can you give me, can you read number one for me? Okay, teacher. First, print the request form that is available on the internet. Good, thank you. Okay, questions about vocabulary? Number one. Internet. Oh, yes, actually, sorry. That is that is a typo. Okay, that was not. It's not supposed to be intranet. It should be internet. Okay, so that was a typo. Let me just fix that. Sorry about that. Teacher, I, I think maybe it's okay. In my in my company, we have a intranet. It's a net. We do have intranet. It's a, just for the 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 company, the corporation. Oh, really? Yeah, in, yes. in our case too, that, teacher. Oh, okay. We have systems, pages that it, the access is only for personnel of the company. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Well, there you go. Then I've just learned something new. Okay, thank okay. you. Yes. All right. So there you go. So intranet, according to uh, some of our classmates, is the, I guess, the internet that is from the company, right? Right. That is yes. so it's private. Okay, there you go. Okay. Well, thank you guys for for teaching me something. Okay. All right. Um okay, number 2, let's have uh, Edgar, help me with number 2, Edgar, please. Fill fill out the form. Thank you. Any questions about that? No. Uh, fill out is no. is different from fill in. Yes. When do you fill in? Fill in when means we... um, fill in means when there's uh, some like a blank 
that you need to complete. Yeah? So it's, it's very similar. It is very similar, but it's different. Um, so... Give me one moment. Okay, so um, we have fill in. I'm going to make this smaller. Fill in and fill out. Okay, so in general, fill out means to complete. Uh, or to complete information. Um, Thoroughly. 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 Does understand the word thoroughly? No. No, teacher. No. Thoroughly is like um, a completamente. So, or uh, con, ah, uh, sorry? Totalmente. Totalmente. Um, Uh, paying attention. Is it okay to say completely? Huh? Completely. Is it okay to say it? Yes, completely. Uh huh. Yes. Thoroughly, completely. Um, who? Sorry? Completely similar to thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, like when you say in Spanish, um, uh, like bien minuciosamente, right? So that mm -hmm. that's fill out. Whereas fill in means just to complete a missing information or a missing piece of information. Okay, so let's say that um, it, let's say that okay, you say um, please fill in your date of birth, your date of birth. So I just need to have your date of birth. Was so that com completed? Means just complete. Put there your date of birth. That means, okay, when you were born, okay? So I was born, um, I don't know, um, January 1st, um, 1990, example, okay? So then that would be fill in. But fill out means like to, uh, to, com to complete the whole thing. Does that make sense? Or did I just confuse you? Yep. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, you understood it, or yes, I confused you. <laughs> yes, I understand. Yes, no, no, teacher. Thank you. Okay, okay, good. All right. I'm just checking sometimes, you know, they say, ah, si, sí, está claro. Como chat. <laughs> All right, so I just want to make sure. All right. Um, okay, so it, like I said, it, they're very similar. But basically, uh, fill out is a little bit more complete, and fill in is just like a just piece of information. Okay, um, number four. Um, let's have get rid of it. Let me do that. Um, let's have Janet. Janet, help me with number four. Oh no, sorry, number three. Number three. Okay, write the reason for the permission. Thank you. All right. Um, with this word, just make sure it's not it's not permission. It's permission. 
So it's the, the, the I is pronounced a tiny bit different. It's not me, but me, permission, me, me, permission. Okay. All right. I know it's a tricky one. In English, in English, the, the, the vowels have all different sound. That's one of the most um, difficult parts of the pronunciation, the, the vowel sound. You know, they all have different sounds, so, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Number four, um, let's have Fabiola. Help me with number four, Fabiola. Right the time and they do will be absent. Okay, good, very good. Any questions about the vocabulary there? Absent. Absent, okay. Absent means that you're not, you're not present, okay? For example, we have a few of our classmates that are absent today, right? You probably have noticed some people didn't answer because they are absent. It means they are not present in class. Okay, all right. Number five, let's see if uh, Francisco have yet. Can you help me with that one, number five? Ask for a department manager senator. Number five, Francisco. I specify if it is due to the medical of person reason, personal reasons. Thank you, very good, okay, very good. And that, yeah, and, and you, you, you did it correctly. Um, just re remember, guys, um, this is specify, not as specify. Okay, do not pronounce the e, right? It's not as specify, it's specify. Okay, very good. Any questions about this vocabulary? Uh, teacher, what is the correct pronunciation of do? Is do or do? Do. Do to. Do to. And the meaning is? Be, um, it means um, uh, because, because of. Mm. So specify if it's because of medical reasons, medical or personal reason. A que se debe? Of the reason. Okay. 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 Um, Irene, can you help us with number six, Irene? As for the department manager, sign is sure. How do you pronounce this word? Signature. Yes. Very good. Signature. Excellent. Okay, signature, signature. And be careful with the spelling. Um, this, uh, I've heard, I've seen many people um, mis misspelling it uh, because it can be easily confused with starting with like, like this, right? It's not sing, it's not signature, right? It's just like this, signature. Okay. So the G comes first and then the N. So, and it's not like this either, right? It's not signature, it's signature, okay? Signature. Yeah, signature. So it's, it's, it's be, just be careful with the spelling, okay? Because that is very easily to misspell. Okay, um, let's see. Josue, help me out with number seven, please. Present the form at the Human Resources Office. Okay, could you repeat this word, Josue? Present. Okay, good. This is another example. Present. Of, yeah, it, those, this is another example of those words that um, depending on if it's a noun or a verb, it's going to be pronounced differently. So although it's correct what you said, Josue, 
but depending on the context, it's going to be different, okay? So, in this case, it's present, the form. Right, okay, so like I said, depending on whether it's, so if whether it's a verb or a noun, it's gonna be um, pronounced differently. If it's a verb, like just all, just like the other, all the other verbs that we've talked about, um, the verb is going to be sent. The stress is on the second syllable. So all the verbs, the stresses are on the second syllable. But if it's a noun, the stress is gonna be on the first syllable. Okay? So what would it be, Josue? Which one? What's the correct one? Present. The present. Which one? Uh, it's noun. Uh, well, if it's a noun, it means gift. Present is un, un present. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a present. It's a verb. It's a verb. Exactly. Yeah. So you're going to say? Present. Yeah. Very good. So present the form. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Any questions? No? No. No. Okay. So again, you have to be very careful with this, but the, this is the rule of that. Con esos, con esos, uh, esas palabras que pueden ser verbos o, o sustantivos, mm. esa es la regla. If it's a verb, this is the second syllable that's stressed. If it's a noun, first syllable that's stressed. Okay, so that's, that's how you got to go with it. Okay, good. Number eight, um, let's have... Juan Francisco, do I have Juan Francisco here? Can you help me with number eight? Right, teacher. Uh, the, the, the human research assistant will receive the form and sent or sign. It is, it is accepted. Un trabalengua ahí, right? Mm. Yes. Oh, I know, yes. I know. Okay, let, let, I'll, okay let, I'll, I'll, I'll say it and then you can repeat it. Sign it. Okay. If it is accepted. Sign it. Sign it if it is accepted. Uh, sign it if it is accepted. Good. Sign it if it is accepted. Sign it if it is accepted. Mm -hmm. Sign it if it, it is accepted. If it is accepted. If it is accepted. Yeah. Accepted. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. All right. So remember, this word is sign, not sing. Sign. Okay. Right. Good. Questions about this? Hay un microphone abierto que molesta. Okay. Just. All right. Um, all right, anything else? Any other words, questions? Questions about any words that we don't understand? No? Okay, last one then. Um, quiero ver quién me puede dar. Okay, Carla. Carla, help me with the last one. Okay, teacher. If the human resource assistant does not accept the form, the permission is denied. Wonderful. Okay, good. Thank you. Questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation of those words? No? All right. Okay, great. So since we have looked at that information and we understand all of the all of the steps, 
Now, I want you to make a list of situations in which you could request permission, okay? So think about what reasons would you need to ask a permission for, okay? So some of the most obvious ones could be, for example, uh, going to the doctor, right? You have a doctor's appointment. But what other situations? You know, it doesn't always have to be a doctor's appointment. What situations could, um, could be, could a permission be needed, okay? And then share and compare them with three classmates. I'm gonna put you in a, in a group of, in a breakout room, and you're gonna share, okay? So I'm gonna give you about, I don't know, five minutes to make a list right now of the situations in which you would need to ask for permission. If you guys need any vocabulary, you can go ahead and ask me too. Okay, you guys ready? Ready, teacher. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to open up your rooms. Just go ahead and share your answers with your group. Okay, here we go. Okay.
Oh, uh, Warner, Warner, no, no se vaya todavía. Um, me acabo de dar cuenta que lo puse okay, en diferentes. Déjenme ver. O entro y me traslada. No, ahorita, ya estuvo. Ya lo puse. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. in, uh, my case uh, in, in my company I I request permissions when uh, I going to 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 have a medical consultations appointment yeah uh, the other is a uh, uh, i request permission if i if i will arrive a uh, a few uh, a few minutes later that the time of Enter to the company. Uh, it's I remember it's arrive. Arrive, uh, sorry, arrive. sorry, arrive. Arrive. <laughs> arrive. Okay, go ahead, guys. Continue. In my case, I request uh, for permission when I need uh, assist uh, meeting uh, at the children's at, at my at my children's school. In, in that case, Carla, it would not be assist but attend. 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 Mm -hmm. The verb is attend because assist means help. Help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I forgot this one. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. When I need to attend a meeting in the in the school of my children or in the children's school. My children's school. My children's school. Mm -hmm. Um, medical appointment too, and. When uh, moving is mudanza, I think. Okay. Okay. But uh, for death, uh, no sé cómo podría decirlo como por duelo. In, uh, how do you say in English? When a familiar is dead? When a relative. A relative. Relative. But relative is in relative. English, how do you say duelo or? Um, morning. Mm -hmm. Morning. Could you spell that? Yeah, morning. Se parece a morning, pero es morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, so yes, uh, it's, it's a, to mourn is. Um, morning is como estar de duelo, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Morning. Yes, uh, to go to the bank to pay my loan. Para, sería otro otro caso mío. In my case, para ir a pagar el banco. If I were your boss, I'd I I'd, I'd tell you to take online banking. <laughs> in my company is uh, is uh, sería? Bueno, todavía no estamos actualizados <laughs> no actualice 
Okay, uh, just letting you know, guys, that um, I'm taking attendance right now. Estoy aprovechando. Así que um, ya, ya, ya tomen la asistencia, no se preocupen. Soy, estoy avisando que hay quien está. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Hey, teacher. Oh, se fue. Yeah, no, no, I'm still here. Uh, este, estos dos días he entrado tarde, teacher, porque en mi trabajo me estoy quedando más tarde de lo debido. Estoy saliendo casi a las nueve. Oh, y ah. vengo casi corriendo para acá. Así que lo siento, teacher, no es que quiera. Llevan dos días. No me excuso, pero. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, just, um, just be careful with the... I, I, I don't think we'll have very much problems with the attendance because I think you have the, the, um, the minimum required. Um, but, but thank you for letting me know. Okay, okay teacher. Miss, what's going on with... Uh, have a problem with attendance. Sorry? What should I do? We have a problem with attendance. Do you have a problem with attendance? No, no, no. En el caso que tuviera problemas con el 80% de la asistencia, ¿qué podría hacer? Oh. Um. Bueno, la cosa es que sí tiene que llenar los requisitos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Son lo que piden sabor. Entonces, um, o sea, sí, realmente no, no podríamos, o sea, tendríamos que eh, hacer todo lo posible para poder llegar hasta el 80. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, no hay como... Otra salida, <risas> lastimosamente. Si sí, es que, o sea, como, como en Zapor pide ese, eh, ese requisito antes, ¿verdad? De que ustedes se, se, um, eh, se inscriban y si ustedes dicen, sí, sí, ¿verdad? yo me comprometo a hacerlo, ¿verdad? Entonces ellos esperan eso. Uh -huh. Sí, pero en el caso, o sea, creo que en el grupo, la mayoría hacemos el esfuerzo por estar en la clase, pero hay como ocasiones en las que, bueno, en mi caso, ¿verdad? hay ocasiones en las que tengo que viajar de San Salvador hasta acá, son prácticamente dos horas, no puedo conectarme, o sea, tantos accidentes, de, bueno, en una ocasión lo hice, pero últimamente no lo hago por eso, porque hay muchos accidentes. Uh -huh. um, sí, o sea, sí, hasta donde no podamos, ¿verdad? Eh, creo Creo que en su caso logramos llegar. Ahorita estoy viendo el porcentaje. Costadito, que... creo. Ajá, este, correcto. No, o sea, llegamos, pero no, no con un gran porcentaje de arriba. Pero llegamos, llegamos. Okay. Eh, y lo importante es eso, o sea, el, cabal, um, el esfuerzo. El esfuerzo de tratar de, bueno, ustedes han visto, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Warner que se conecta aún en el carro, ¿verdad? El, pero ahí está siempre conectado. Eh, y pues um, el caso de otros también, um, que ustedes, que, bueno, de hecho muchos el día de hoy me pusieron, ¿verdad? Que me pusieron en el chat que, que había accidentes, que estaban manejando, que todavía no habían llegado a casa, pero se conectaron, ¿verdad? Para ellos que por lo menos estaban escuchando la clase. Entonces, uh, por lo menos se puede hacer algo así, ¿verdad? No de todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, pero si de vez en cuando hay una situación, ¿verdad? Eh, pues mejor conectarse así, ¿verdad? Eh, y, y poder por lo menos eh, estar en, en jazz escuchando, ¿verdad? Uh, por, por, por completo perderlo, ¿verdad? No. Así que, sí, así que, ajá, lastimosamente no es, es como, no le podría decir otra cosa porque no es como nuestras políticas, o sea, no es sí. una política interna, entonces, no, por eso incluso, no sé, yo no tengo la autorización para darle permiso, no le, o sea, yo no, aunque me dicen, o sea, aunque me, me dicen, que es lo que está pasando y les aprecio mucho el, el que me avisen ¿verdad? para que veamos cómo, cómo les podemos auxiliar en algo, si es posible, pero en sí no les puedo yo dar permiso. Es decir, sí, sí, no se preocupe, ¿verdad? 
que tome el día. <risa> No puedo, no, 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 no está dentro de, de mis capacidades, ¿verdad? Porque no tengo ese permiso de ensayar. Solamente ellos son los que, los que determinan qué, qué se hace y lo que no. Entonces, sí, en ese caso ellos han dicho rotundamente que, que necesitan un cierto porcentaje de asistencia, ¿verdad? Eh, si tal vez, no sé, llegara un poquito menos, ¿verdad? El 80%. Tal vez podríamos ver cómo se le ayuda, pero si estamos hablando que, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? una persona que solo lleva 50 por ciento, ¿verdad? Es diferente. Ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. okay. Well, teacher, uh, teacher, uh -huh. un, one question. Uh, este tipo de permisos, o sea, eh, es, pueden ser formales o informales. Uh, es igual, o sea, digamos, de repente yo estoy en mi trabajo, puedo decirme, my I live when do fi I finish, o sea, puedo irme cuando termine, no sé, es como... May, may I leave, may I leave when I finish? Uh -huh. may, may I leave when I finish? Yes, or can I leave when I finish? Mm -hmm. Can is, is a little bit more informal, mm -hmm. okay? And, but it's, it's still, it's still proper to say it like that, but it's a little bit less informal than may. No sé si hay informal o informal, no, no sé. Yeah. Es como... say, may, I. may I leave would be very formal. Or ah, formal. could I leave? Could I leave is also formal. Well, oh. But if you say, can I leave? It's a little, it's still, it's still um, polite, it's respectful, yes. but it's a little more informal. Okay. Es, co es como que quisiera decir, um, can, I, can I turn on the, my mobile phone? Entonces, puedo encender mi teléfono, no sé, en algún momento. Yeah, basically the difference between um, can and could. Can and could, ajá. Uh -huh. Like saying, for example, could is like saying podría. Podría. ¿Podría irme cuando ya haya terminado? which is like more formal than saying, puedo irme cuando, puedo irme cuando, me, uh -huh. cuando ya terminado. It's the same, you're asking for permission, it's still respectful, but um, podría is a little more formal. So the same thing with could. Could is a tiny, could and may, a little bit more formal. No, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. 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 Hi, Wendy. Hi, teacher. Good to see you, Wendy. You ready? Okay, all right. Yvonne, ten cuidado. <laughs> yeah, it's my little dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no la voy a morder. No, para nada. He's a big dog. He's, yeah, yeah, he's very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very cute. Is that your dog? Yeah, it's my dog. It's so cute. Very, very cute. His name is Chuby. Oh, Chuby? Yeah, oh, Chuby. So cute. Oh. Or Chewbacca. Yeah. Como Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When, when he was uh, a little puppy, uh, he was uh, brown and, and black, and, and he looks like a, a little Chewbacca. <laughs> so cute. no, no, because because he changed the color of the of of, of the hair. His fur. Mm -hmm. The fur. Uh -huh. So you are a Star Wars fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like, 
So you knew on uh, a few days ago when I was talking about May the 4th. Yeah. You already knew that. Remember, did, it, did I explain about May the 4th, Star Wars yeah. Day? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You already knew about that. Now, yeah. I have to fight him. <laughs> and your father. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so tell me, tell me a little bit. What are some of the reasons that you could ask for permission? Mm -hmm. uh, when you need to go to the children's school. Okay. Okay, good. Why do you need to go to ch the children's school? For what? Uh, if you need to uh, go to the meeting, okay. I, I don't know how to say. Okay. So, school. Te so teach your parent meetings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teach your parent meetings. Mm -hmm. What else? Any other reasons? Attend a doctor appointment. To attend a doctor's appointment? Yes. What else? Mm -hmm. A family event. A family what? A family event or a family event. reunion. Okay, mm -hmm. a family event or a reunion. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What to else? Change, to change shift. <clears throat> no, please. Change the shift. But this is a permission, requesting permission. Um, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess, I mean, yeah, because we haven't, we haven't specified if it's to be absent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my company, uh, fill out the form mm -hmm. for two reasons. Okay. Okay, good, yeah. What else? Any other reasons? And when you need to go to the bank? When you need to go to the bank? And somebody said, mm -hmm. Katie? <laughs> That if I were your boss, I would give you online banking. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to ask for permission to go to the bank. Just do online yeah. banking. <laughs> but sometimes you, even even if you do online banking, sometimes you have to go to the bank. You no, know? because you, we got only transfers now. You can do transfer from bank to bank. Yeah, I know, I know. But some 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 things require you to go directly to the bank. Um, if there is like, if your bank has been, sorry, if your account has been blocked, for example, mm -hmm. you have to go personally to the bank. So uh, yeah. you lost your, your debit card. <laughs> yeah. You need a new, a new debit card. Uh-huh. Although I think you can ask for it to be, um, taken to your home or to your, or to your workplace, but it takes a lot longer. Right. Yeah, so if you have an emergency, simple. you you're gonna have to go to the bank directly. Yeah. Or do you need to change a, a check? Yeah, exactly. If you need to um, like deposit your uh, money from your from a check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, some things unfortunately you, you still have to go to the bank. Right. But the good thing is that, yes, online banking saves you a lot of time. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And I'm thinking that another reason why you can fill out a form is if you're going to go on vacation, right? So if you want to go on vacation, you yeah. can also ask for a form. Yeah. Marvin's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, guys. Um, let me take attendance because I was hoping to take attendance uh, while you guys were in your groups, but I didn't get to finish that. So let me just take the whole attendance. Okay, Ana Claudia, no, right? Um, Andres? Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Edgar? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Okay, great. Fabiola. Present teacher. Great. Francisco. Present. Excellent. Katie. Present teacher. All right. Excellent. Um, Irene. 
Lincoln Beecher. Excellent. Josue. Present, Chair. Excellent. Um, Juan Francisco. Present, teacher. Ray, Carla. Present, teacher. Excellent. Um, La Melissa. Not here. Okay. Luis. Present. All right. Excellent. Um, Manuel Alejandro. Present, teacher. All right, excellent. Um, Manuel de Jesus. Present. All right. Uh, Marvin. Present, teacher. Right, Wendy. Present, teacher. Excellent. Warner. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Noemi. Present. All right. Uh, Yvonne. Present. All right. And um, Daniel? Daniel? I think we may have lost Daniel. Yeah, we lost Daniel. Okay. Uh, Jorge? Arlene? Ricardo? Okay. All right. So that's it, guys. Uh, today um, I have Warner. Warner, are you going to be staying? No teacher. No? So, no. Okay. Anybody would like to stay? No? Okay. All right. So that will be all, um, guys. Uh, just a reminder complete the platform, complete, uh, make sure you have the documents, and uh, make sure that you're not absent tomorrow or Tuesday. Okay? All right. So take care, guys. Have fun. Uh, and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.